kids. In today's lesson, you will learn how to use the word unless correctly in English. The word unless expresses a negative condition. What it means? When it happens, something else cannot happen. Let's look at some examples and you will understand it better. One, you won't speak to her if she doesn't apologize. If we use unless, it will be you won't speak to her unless she apologizes. Second example, Pedro won't come if you don't invite him. If we use unless, Pedro won't come unless you invite him. Here we have the other example. She won't pass the test if she doesn't study. If we use unless, she won't pass the test unless she studies. Now it's time to go to practice. You are going to write sentences using unless in the following prompts. Do it please in your homework notebook or in the notebook that you have. Now kids, as soon as you finish your work of the sentences, you are going to work in your Amaze book, the pages 46 and 47. As we have seen first conditional previously, you know that this uh, uh, structure can be used with unless that is the case in this class. Let's go to check some notes. In first conditional sentences, in negative form, as usual, we use the auxiliaries don't or doesn't plus the verb in simple form. There is an element which can be used instead of the auxiliaries don't or doesn't. And what is that word? Is unless. Unless means a menos que or a no ser que in Spanish. Unless is used in the conditional part. If not means the same as this word. The verb is in simple form when you use the auxiliaries as we have checked in present simple. Let's go to compare this structure. I'll help you with your homework if you wash your dishes. Here, we start with will, then if is the conditional part, and the verb after the subject, wash. I won't help you with your homework unless you wash your dishes. The purpose to use unless is to make the sentence more emphatic. In this uh, sentence, we can see that the first part is in negative. And then we introduce unless instead of using if I don't or if you don't or if he doesn't. I will speak to her if she apologizes. Here we have the conditional if and our verb with s because we are using a third singular person. Now we are going to substitute it by unless. I won't speak to her unless she apologizes. We change if for a less but the verb continues in the same structure, in this case with S. Pedro will come to the party if you invite him personally. We are going to substitute it that if or unless. Pedro won't come to the party unless you invite him personally. The same, we have changed it if 
to unless and the verb continues in the same form. She will lose weight if she stops eating junk food. We are going to substitute it by unless. She won't lose weight unless she stops eating junk food. We introduce unless and then the verb continues in the same form. The form of the verb doesn't have any doesn't have any modification when unless is used, as we have seen in the examples before. With if plus don't or if plus doesn't, the equivalent with unless would be. Let's check this. I won't speak to her if she doesn't apologize. I have introduced the auxiliary doesn't. Pedro won't come to the party if you don't invite him personally. I introduce don't. She won't lose weight if she doesn't stop eating junk food. I introduce the auxiliary doesn't. I won't help you with your homework if you don't wash your dishes. I introduce don't. So as you can see, you can move it, take, taking out this auxiliary do or doesn't, and you substitute it by unless, as we saw in the examples. So we conclude that won't in negative form works with unless. Unless is used in all kinds of conditional sentences. When the unless clause comes first, a comma is used between the clauses. Let's see. Unless you wash your dishes, comma, I won't help you with your homework. Unless she apologizes, comma, I won't speak to her. Unless you invite him personally, comma, Pedro won't come to the party. Unless she stops eating junk food, comma, she won't lose weight. As we have seen in the topic first conditional or zero conditional, to move the parts doesn't change the sense of the sentence. Only we have to take care that when we are going to use negative forms, we use unless, won't, or don't, or doesn't. I recommend to practice this topic in the links that they are written here, as well as many other topics useful to you.